<laughs> Welcome to the Movies vs. Film Podcast. I'm Brian. I am Ike. We are here today because Ike watched The Thing. Yes, I did. What did you watch? Alright, so I watched the movie called Till Death. Oh, by the way, we're going to hit spoilers right away. We, uh, yeah, it's going to happen. Yeah, this, it's, the movie's not long enough to, like, warrant the non-spoiler And one. it's several months old. Exactly. So, we're, you, you'll be fine. So, the movie's titled Till Death, and it's starring Megan Fox and, like, two other people that I don't know. And one Kellen, bad... Kellen Mulvey. And that bad guy from every freaking superhero movie I've watched. That's right. So, um... All right, so the movie's basically about Megan Fox plays this woman who's having an affair on her husband. And um, it's an anniversary of her, her and her husband's, like, anniversary. Wedding. Yeah, so, yeah, wedding. So um, it shows up that the guy is basically trying to um, surprise her with a night away somewhere, but you can tell she's, like, kind of, like, really, like, refrained and held back. Like, like she has, like, some shit that's happened to her that's, like, doesn't want her like to be a person, and she hates the dude that she's with. By the way, like she does not like this dude. How do we know she's all fucked up? Because it's the way she, she like nightmares. Or well, she it's not even that. It's just the way she talks. Like she's very like subdued to everything. Like she doesn't like, not even like putting up a fight when she talks. But she's just like yeah, sure for everything. Oh, she's like a beaten. Oh dog. yeah, like that. Like it's like I've I've had enough where I'm not even gonna worry about. There will be back. no picture on this podcast of a beaten dog for the record. <laughs> he, he goes, we do not do dogs on this we one. Dog the bounty hunter, maybe. So um. So, yeah, so basically we just know she's, like, out of it. Like, and she knows the guy's an asshole because, like, it's their anniversary and the guy gets her um, a steel necklace that goes around her neck. It has diamonds and it's about their 11th anniversary. And she gets him Super Bowl tickets and she's like, I, I know you always wanted to go to the Super Bowl. I got you these tickets for the Steelers on the 50-yard line. Boom. He's like... I don't know why he goes, still is suck this year, and just tosses the tickets to the side. It's like, I won't need these foreshadowing. Oh, yeah, like, I'm like, oh, okay. It's like, Check so, off Super Bowl. And I'm like, so this guy can just go. Like, he's, Something's <laughs> going on. Yeah, he's the person, he can just go and no one's going to worry about plans it. next week. Yeah, <laughs> so he takes her away, and they're driving around. She's blindfolded, and they're driving on this road, and she's like, yo, we've been driving for an hour. I'm getting car sick and getting nervous. Yo, I'm about, to take these gla- I'm about to take this blindfold off. He goes, don't do it, don't do it. And then they get to the place, and it's a place that they had an anniversary for before. It's like uh, they're going back again to the spot. Hitting up a cabin in the woods. Exactly. And she's like, oh, I don't recognize the place in the winter. I like that. Um, because a lot of the movie takes place in the snow, which is really cool, too. So they get there. They have a good night. Ah, that's what you did there. Yeah, see? They get there. They have a good night, and everything's all good. They wake up the next morning, and she gets up, and he's sitting on the edge of the bed, and she's laying there, and, and she he, she's like, he's like, so... Um, how do you feel? She goes, I got a hangover, got kind of a headache. And he was like, yeah. He goes, it's going to be a good morning. And she goes, she lifts her hand up and realizes she's handcuffed to him. And she goes, what the hell? He's like, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on? Kinky. Yeah, and he goes, I wish you would open your eyes more or something like that. And then fucking just blows his head off. Jesus. Yeah, like he just, bow, like all over the place. And she just like. Eyes open? Oh, dude. Straight like, yeah. Psycho. Yeah. And he, <laughs> like, he just goes out. And then she's just in shock. And she's like, yo, what the fuck? Nah. And then, you know, it's those scenes where, you know, she goes into shock and then it goes back to it to see what's going on. I can picture Megan Fox's, Fox's face with your voice over it. Nah, fuck, nah. Yeah, like, nah. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah. So then basically it goes back to her. She's all sitting there with his, you know, his, his. In, Matter. Yeah, all over, <laughs> all on her face. Uh, which is it looks really really good too by the way this movie shot really really well like everything's done really well really tight not many wide shots except when you're like trying to see what location we're at but it's like really dope so yeah so she's trying to figure out you know how to like so how, she's cuffed to a dead man yeah she's cuffed to a dead man and now she's trying to get help but the phone line's cut her phone's inside of a pot of a, a, a pot of flower water like a, a flower pot full of water like, you know, it's like he like he planned this all out. And there's no rice in the house? I don't, you know, he removed all the sharp objects. I'm pretty sure there's no rice in the house. He's pretty much planned all this stuff out. So, whatever, she's dragging the body around the house trying to figure it out. She fucking tumbles down the stairs with him, which is fucking <laughs> like, I was like, holy shit, you heard me yell. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so that happens, and then, you know, she's walking around, and then she sees, the, she sees her wedding dress. Wait, 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 quick question, quick question. So, while this guy is lumped up fucking corpse. Yes. Is getting flopped around does it start taking damage 
Well, yeah, but and you can, but you, I don't really know if you can tell, but I mean, like, you can tell the body's taking there because she's lugging this thing, and he's like, falling downstairs, he's yeah, falling off his things. his face getting smooshed, head turned Actually, around. Actually, you know what? When they do a close-up shot of the face, like, later on, like, they get an examination, yeah, it's, like, more mangled than it was oh. initially. Like, they had, like, the gunshot face, and then they had, like, the after face. The gunshot face. <laughs> and then they had, like, the after face. Oh, he's making that gunshot face. Yeah. So, um, so what? But she's dragging the body around. She goes into this room, sees her wedding dress. And it's just hanging there, rant. of course, hanging there mysteriously in an empty closet. It's all creepy. Yeah. And then she has flashbacks of why she's all wounded. Some dude, like, stabbed her in the stomach and, like, tried to kill her. And then she mangled the dude's face with her keys. So that's why, I know, that's why she's all messed up. So that's her tragedy. That's her ghost, exactly. So she pulls the fucking wedding dress down, puts the body on top of the wedding dress. Pretty fucking smart woman. So she can slide him around. So she can slide him around the house easier. Pretty genius. Realizes there's a safe inside the house that's just like foreshadowing. Like there's a safe. It's gonna be used for something Check later. Safe. Exactly. So she's going around the house, finds out there's no way she can leave. There's no gas in the car. There's no keys. There's no nothing. There's no. There's no nobody. She's just by herself with this body. And then two people end up coming to the house and they end up trying to like do the invasion shit. So then it turns to her an invasion story. But then we find out the dude that's in robbing the house was hired by her husband who blew his head off. And it's also the guy that stabs her. That's crazy. Yeah, but it turns out that her husband is like an attorney or some shit and like helped him get off and they found like some kind of common ground. Wait. Yeah. So he's, was he, he was his defense, he was the guy who put him away, you said. Yeah. Right, so. And then they found some kind of common ground and then he set up this whole thing. I don't ask questions, I just roll yeah. with the punches. And it, roll I, with the steps. I guess with why, I guess with how the beats work out, I guess like you're just like, oh, we're already here, so all right, I get, makes sense, just keep going. I saw he had like a meekish little mousy dude with him. Was yeah, that, that's, um, that was, um, homeboy's like sidekick, like, like help me, like you look out dude, you know, but then, yeah, so, you know, so whatever, now they end up trying to find her and all that shit because she has the date to open up the safe, the safe has diamonds in it, and then she gets free of the body, she goes free, they find her, there's a tussle. Couple more shit happens. Oh, I saw it. There's a hell of a tussle. Oh, there's a hell of a tussle. It's, it's really oh yeah, dude gets bow head on the coat rack. So and then it just ends up that so they get the guys who are invading the house end up getting Megan Fox and they're like yo give us the date and she's like you know I don't have the date just, and you know whatever they figure it out no wait she does have the date sorry and then yeah, they, does oh, she know all along. No, she does not just know. Just click one day? Yeah. So it just clicks like when it happens because she gives them the fucking date. They open the safe. There's nothing in the safe. She heard there were diamonds. They realize, no they realize that the necklace they gave, the guy gave her at the beginning is the diamonds on her neck. But then you find out that you can't take off the necklace. In order to get the diamonds, you got to take her head off. Yeah. No. How, how did he get it on there if you can't take it off? Well, it's because it was a necklace. So what's the clasp went on? Choo, think of like one of the um, power dampeners in one of the Deadpool movies. Mm. It, you know what I mean? It just kind of lacks on choo, choo, like that. And you just can't get it off afterwards. And so they have to cut it right off to get it. There's another tussle. She kills the guy. Nice ice tussle, too. They fall into the water I and shit. I saw it was a good ice tussle. Real good shit. Well, first he coat racks his boy. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's really... It's, his little short round dude, gets it's, put on a coat rack. It's really good. The movie's like... An hour and 30. Legit, the first 45 minutes, she's by herself with this body. And it moves like this. So you don't even realize it. And when the people come in, just the movie just flows. In the ice tussle, uh, Kellen Mulvey has acquired a new bracelet, right? Which one? I forget. He's dragging around the husband. Oh, that's right. So when they get into the little tussle inside the house, she ends up getting the cuffs off of her and putting it onto him. So now he has to drag the body. Then he has to drag the... And he falls down the stairs. Yeah, he has to drag the, a nice little callback to the yeah, first fall at the beginning. That part. So he has to drag her, him around while trying to get her. And then he stabs her in the leg. Wow. Uh, while she's trying to right crawl through. away. Dude, it's, it's, uh. it's really good. Really, really solid movie. Um... Definitely worth the watch. Did she survived the match. She di and she definitely survives the match. So I mean, not for nothing. If you watch a movie like this, you should kind of like figure out what the ending is. Obviously, we everything has stakes, but come on, she has to survive. Like come so, on. Kellen Mulvey dragging around the body. He ends up dying. How? Uh, lays, falls inside. So they end up fighting on top of the ice. Ice breaks up. He falls in, grabs her, drags her in with him. And then she ends up getting loose because he stabs him in the, in the eye. eye. Yeah, she grabs the knife and stabs him in the eye in the water. And then she flows up. Of course, the ice is above her, like in everything. You gotta get out. She finds a, she opens the crack and then swims out and just lays there. Wedding ring rolls off of her hand. Roll shot into the water. And then they do the underwater shot. Credits. Solid movie. It's all solid movie.
And you said Megan Fox really dragged a body, like not a body, <laughs> can drag a dead body. No, she dragged the stunt. I just yeah, she dragged the stunt man around. And you know when you're watching, you have to be that stunt man. Wake up early for work, you get in there like all right, cuff him. You know what's what's funny too is you got like when you watch movies like this, even when there is movies where they have to drag a body around or they're attached to something, you can tell like there's certain parts where it just doesn't look like they're doing anything. Mm. Yo, she was legit like struggling. Like you, I'm like I'm like oh she's definitely. I'm watching you going oh that's he was definitely. struggling. Oh like, dude, you and can, he's a big guy and he's probably dragging the body too. He was one hand in that flame. Yeah. Thrower in Batman she, versus Superman. Yeah, she and yeah, and she does she does great in this movie. Like I don't know if it's because they gave him more to work with because she can actually like, just be in her zone because it's not much of a cast. But dude, it, it, it's really good. So easiest question to answer. Yeah. Is it a film? Not a film. Very 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 solid movie though. Solid Definitely movie. a watch. So watch it. Definitely a watch it. Yeah. Definitely if a we watch it. Out, if we went out of ten, which I kind of hate that system, but but. It, uh, you know, think? I rate everything from ten. Honestly, I give us probably a good seven. Seven? Solid seven for this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's got you gotta be you gotta be Sandman to get a five or less. I mean Candyman to get a five or less. The new Candyman. Yeah, new Candyman, five or less. Alright, well, that'll put a button on it. We'll be doing some more of these uh, here and there as we go through. And uh, if there's a movie that you want us to watch and review, just let us know in the comment section. Like, subscribe. Dislike if you want, uh, share, tell your friends, yell it out the window at some random person on the street. They'll be confused, but you talk to people like that, they remember you. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's it for today. Uh, keep watching movies, keep enjoying them, and uh, yeah, talk to you next time.